guys and welcome to the fifth tutorial in my PHP backend tutorial so as you can see I've changed my environment a little bit so I'm using uh, WebStorm PHP WebStorm now so I'm trying it out and I really enjoy it so I can really recommend it if you're if you're unfamiliar with it so uh, also I took the opportunity to, to remove some stuff so at this point I should only have the bare minimum what we've gone through in the previous tutorials so in order to demonstrate what I have right now I have the basic routing um, that checks if a function exists and if it does it calls it that we've gone through previously so in my postman tutorial sorry about that I have this is what I have at the moment I have a route that's called get all colors and it echoes out some data so what we got here is uh, I have my connector as previous as well. There's no difference there. So in our current implementation, there is there is a problem with this approach. It's it's a very naive approach of how you would build something to to getting started basically. So in the next couple of previous uh, next couple of tutorials, I hope that we'll build up the extra abstraction of uh, a real proper application as it would be in like a wor working environment and in order to be able to do this we need to make the transition from script that we're currently using to uh, object oriented approach and the way to get started with that is to create a simple first class and I, I assume you guys know some basic uh, object oriented programming and if you don't, there's some really good tutorials out there. I'm not going to go through it. So what we're going to do first is we're going to keep the routing in the script as we have, which is this function over here, or it's not even a function. And we're going to collect all of this into separate class and object. So what we want to do first, we want to take all the business logic that we have in here, get all colors, and create a database class for it. So I'm going to start by creating a new uh, a new uh, class. In PHP Storm, you get like a preset template for a PHP class. But if you don't have this, you can just uh, basically see what will be generated for me and, and just write it yourself. So uh, I'm going to call this the database interface. And it looks something like this. Uh, it'll be a class public class uh, called database interface and uh, we're gonna we're gonna copy paste the function we got got here we're gonna start with the body and we're gonna call this same thing so get all colors it'll be a public function So it looked like this. Uh, basically, I just copy pasted the stuff in here. And this function will be public so we can access it from outside the class. And the business logic will be exactly the same for the moment. So as you can see, PHP Storm also has a visual representation that it is a class. It uses a C over here. So this is, of course, obsolete by now so we comment it out gotta keep it as a reference just to see how stuff's going so uh, we need to create an instance of this class over here so the first thing we need to do currently is include the class so we can use it we're gonna look at some other way of doing this also later so we don't have to include every time we we use a uh, another file but for now we need to include it so this is how you do it include once and then the name of the file which keeps the relative path to the file but since this is in the same folder it'll just be like this and then what we need to do is we need to create a new instance of this class and we will call the instance ds for data source and we will instantiate it with a new database interface 
like this. And the constructor doesn't take any arguments either. So now we have an instance of the class. We're going to call the function, which is called get all colors. So the way we do this in PHP, if you're not custom to it, is if you're custom to any other object oriented programming, you would use a dot in order to access public functions. And in PHP, you would use something that looks like this. So it's dash and then arrow. So this is how we would look. Uh, the DS and then get all colors. You can also see that I get some IntelliSense here that suggests that I, this is the function that I might want to call. And this should do the exact same thing as we previously had. So let's see if it works in Postman. And as you can see, it generates the exact same output as previously. And if we want to make sure that we <clears throat> actually change anything, we can make a little change in here just to verify that we actually got the uh, implementation correct. So it's not some kind of cache or something that's lying around. So you can remove something in here and try it out, see if it's any difference, which it is. So this is uh, seems like a mundane task, but what we've done actually now is that we're trying to make the transition from script-based implementations into object-oriented models, which will also enable us to to make a little more nice abstractions in the future. So I hope you guys liked it and see you in the next tutorial.